Hello and welcome to Ovesen.net. Uh, another unboxing session and this is uh, the December 2020 edition and that means that this is the last one uh, this year. So not that many interesting items uh, this time. I have one uh, large uh, box to show you and uh, a couple of smaller ones and a few ones you already saw in uh, a couple of my previous videos actually. And that is because I film this uh, as I get the packages and sometimes uh, the unboxing video comes uh, after the actual usage of an item. So uh, that's how it is. All right, uh, let's get right to it and uh, see what I got this time. Now, this is a really big box. I think it's the, one of the biggest boxes I ever had here. And uh, yeah, let's open it and see what it is. This is something I recently bought uh, on uh, on the Norwegian shop fin.no So the packaging is uh, seems to be very good <laughs> And here is the main item this is something I have been uh, wanting for a while and uh, now I got one. Uh, so, look at that. It's an Amstrad uh, CPC 6128 with a floppy drive and it even has a floppy disk inside. So I put that away. And the rest of the content is, uh, yeah, of course, uh, it's uh, the screen. <laughs> oh my god. So this is an Amstrad monitor, uh, CTM644 color monitor. So I, I'm amazed that the seller even uh, bothered to package this up and send it to me. So I have set up the machine and let's see if it is uh, working. All right, it actually does. So there is some uh, issues with uh, the keyboard. I just press uh, J and it uh, starts just uh, repeating. That's one thing, the color seems to be a little bit strange. Shouldn't there be a blue uh, blue background? Here's a knob, maybe this is the one. All right, yeah, that's, that's the one. <laughs> that's the familiar blue um, background. And this is the game's floppy, but I cannot test it because um, uh, the seller uh, stated that the floppy drive did not work because the drive belt is actually uh, damaged on this and uh, I have already ordered a new uh, belt for this. So a great machine, looking forward to um, investigating it and uh, restoring it. This package came today and this is something I have uh, purchased myself from uh, the Norwegian uh, web shop complete.no and this is one of the items this is in fact the uh, game I watch uh, <laughs> color screen Super Mario Brothers and this is the new uh, modern uh, replica of uh, game I watch games that are uh, uh, just released now so maybe I'll make a little um, test out of this the other item in this package is uh, not uh, related to uh, retro computers but it's uh, a hard drive it's 
so this is a new uh, hard drive for my uh, current stationary uh, PC. It's a two terabyte disk. I'm just going to use it as a extra disk for storing uh, video and things like that. Uh, my current uh, PC has of course a SSD drive. Next package is this one. Uh, yeah, fairly large but very light. <laughs> and this was actually sent to me by a, a one of my subscribers that wanted to donate this to my channel and uh, what can it be so <laughs> that was just the filler the content is uh, very light and small but very good packaging all right, so this is actually um, a kit for a Kung Fu flash cartridge for the Commodore 64. So he sent me this um, 3D printed uh, cartridge uh, and the different components I need, including the PCB. The PCB is uh, somewhat uh, already uh, has the most important uh, component soldered onto it but uh, i got the remaining components and i'm gonna solder them in myself so this cartridge was um, designed and developed by kim jorgensen a danish guy and it is open sourced on uh, github uh, i'll link to the github in the description of the video and what it is, it's actually a um, cartridge where you have a, a flash SD card uh, where you can put um, different types of uh, images for uh, the Commodore 64, like D64 disk images or CRT uh, cartridge images. And it has a menu system where you can select what to boot and things like that. So uh, really interesting. I haven't tested it. Uh, before so uh, I'm gonna build this in another uh, video I guess so very interesting project and uh, uh, thanks a lot for sending this to me another little package from uh, China and it says uh, integrated circuit not circuits but circuit So here's another batch of uh, RAM chips and uh, some other stuff. Let's see what it is. And here's even a Motorola 68000. So it's a MC68000P8. So I got this uh, chip, I just bought it in case I need one for an Amiga or something. And this is a couple of uh, 74 LS06. Uh, These are uh, used in the Commodore and uh, yeah, good to have in stock. More uh, EEPROMs, Windbond W27C512. Good to have those in stock as well. And these are uh, RAM chips 41464C-10. Another package from China and uh, yeah. It says wire cutter and uh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, it is those um, yeah side cutters. Very cheap from China, so probably not the best uh, quality, but uh, yeah. So that's why I got two. So I have a spare if the one of those fails. And here's the package I got all the way from the United States from DigiKey and it was sent uh, uh, three days ago and I already got it delivered to my door. Uh, free postage uh, even. <laughs> so I think that is amazing speed for uh, a package all the way from the US. So 
So let's see what this is. Yeah. Capacitors. Lots of capacitors. So these are uh, all the capacitors for uh, a complete recapping of um, a Commodore SX64. Look at this big one. <laughs> and I actually found all the caps for uh, that machine and uh, as usual I order around the double amount that I need so I can have some in stock. Here's a little package sent from uh, Norway and uh, I'm not really sure what it is, but uh, we'll see. Aha! Now I know. This is a Copper Dragon uh, C64 video enhancement. So that's another one of those um, RF modulator replacement you can install on a Commodore 64. So this is the complete uh, board and no soldering this time. Looks great. I got these pin headers uh, for uh, soldering it to a Commodore board, but that's it. Here's an envelope sent uh, via Royal Mail in uh, UK. Let's see what's inside. So it's a little um, envelope. All right, yeah. <laughs> That is actually uh, the drive belt for um, my Amstrad CPC-128. Another package from the UK and it says uh, on the declaration it is uh, electronics um, quantity 5. Let's open. Okay, so these are DIN connectors and these are 7 pin uh, DIN connectors and also the um, panel mount uh, socket connector and uh, I'm gonna use this for uh, Commodore 64 related uh, yeah, power supply related stuff. So I have a little project coming up and I'm gonna use some of these on that. I also found these on eBay from a UK seller and uh, I paid around uh, 14 uh, uh, pounds, British pounds for this and it's uh, five of each. So that's quite cheap actually I think. I bought this from a UK seller on uh, eBay and it was uh, quite cheap, only uh, around uh, yeah little less than uh, 30 euros so if we take a closer look at the floppies it's actually two double-sided floppies uh, so a total four uh, floppies actually and uh, yeah they these are brand new three inch uh, floppy diskettes for uh, Amstrad and uh, it says there Amstrad CPC 6128 and uh, CPM plus other side has programming utilities. This uh, side three has CPM 22 with DR logo, and uh, side four has DR logo and help for CPM plus. So this is going to be exciting to uh, check out later. Another little package from China. Let's see what it says. Connector. <laughs> All right, connector. Exciting. So what kind of connector can it be? Very good packaging. A lot of tape.
All right. <laughs> Even more pin connectors and uh, <laughs> yeah, I ordered this from China on eBay because um, they were of course very cheap, but I was anticipating them to take a long time to arrive, so uh, I uh, ordered the previous ones uh, <laughs> from UK and uh, yeah, they came uh, just with a couple of days uh, difference, so <laughs> that's strange. So then I have enough uh, of these uh, seven pin DIN connectors for a while. Even though these are from China, they look to be good quality. So that was the last package uh, for December. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you next time. Uh, bye bye.